Well, hello everybody, Mana here, and today we are back and we are going to be jumping right into the Campaign Europe Mode Mission number two. Let's hear what the man has to say about the mission, and we are going to be going from there. Welcome, welcome. Let's have some fun here. In the cradle of industrialization, the factory smokestacks smoke without end. The cities are thick with soot. Men, women, and children make sure that the machinery keeps running up to 12 hours a day without a break. The railroad network is being diligently expanded. The trains have doubled their top speed in just a few years. Faith in modern technology is as unshakable as the reign of Queen Victoria. Alrighty, sounds like things are going down. Bridge disaster, I have some things to work on. We are going to be going for the full medals on this. Haven't played it uh, since before the actual game released. Uh, so we are going to jump right in here. Bridge disaster. Let's jump on in and find out what the first part of the mission is. And we're going to rock star this up. Thanks for joining along. Here we go. What a monstrous disaster has shaken Scotland in this year of 1880. The railroad bridge over the Tay has collapsed, torn in two by the storm, and the train which was crossing it sent to the deep. Her Majesty may have been a bit hasty when she knighted the bridge's builder. We can do better. We have been commissioned to construct a railroad bridge a little farther south, on the Firth of Forth. And it is high time. The ferry makes people seasick, and the detour over the mainland is long and tiresome. Building the longest bridge in the world is no easy undertaking. Also, the tidal range of up to six meters and the strong currents won't make the matter any easier. At any rate, it has been clearly demonstrated how not to do the job. Alrighty, folks, we are finally here in mission number two, and we're about to get ready to start this mission. Looks like things are going bad up in Scotland. We've got some bridge failures, uh, and as you can see right here, look, used to be a bridge, not a bridge no more. Train underwater. Uh, we have some metals to work on. We need to finish building the bridge before 1902. We have so much time. We got a lot of time. It's only 1880. Uh, earn a million by transporting tools. By transporting tools, cross the test bridge, which is down south here. Uh, on the other side, whoa, nope, that's north, south. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Test bridge right down here. Ooh, look at that. Uh, we're going to have to cross this guy with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, we're going to have to wait into the future for that one because we don't have any trains that can go that speed. Uh, we also need to cross the test bridge with a total load of at least 60 units. Uh, that was is going to be something that we're going to have to be working on. Uh, and then finally, we have to fulfill the special request of the steelworks owner and transport goods by ship. Uh, something else we're going to have to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and head on the overview and find out what is going to be happening on the start of the mission. The collapse of the Tay Bridge, an unquestionable disaster, was caused solely by human failure, a series of construction mistakes, ignorance, and sloppiness. At least we now know that cast iron parts aren't much use in the construction of modern bridges. We should rely on something more solid. Steel. All right, makes sense. We are finally going to be making a steel bridge. None of these cast iron bridges. That's just not good, especially for the longest, largest train bridge in the world at the time. So coal and iron ore are needed for production of steel. Use an appropriate train to transport from the coal mine, which is up here. Oakley dokley. Uh, we have an iron ore mine, which is all the way over here on the other side of Falkirk. And then we have the steel mill smack in the middle. Alrighty. And then we have what looks like the actual machine factory up, uh, up over here. So we're going to have to use the existing test bridge right here and get this going. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and start building. Thought about skipping the build out, but you know what? That's, that's, let's show it. Let's enjoy the build. We're going to go... Cargo. I'm going to try to set my uh, uh, lines properly and set the proper lines to fill and all that good stuff. Unlike last time where we got things a little bit confused in Mission 1. Lucky we walked away solid gold as we did, but we did. So we are going to just keep on moving here. Keep on keeping on as we do. All right, uh... Let's see if I can make it cheaper. 12. Stay on the ground. 12. 24. Saving money where we can. Quick check. Does it catch? We got it caught all up. Gives us free little splits. I did not build this little bridge. The test bridge was already pre-built. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the contour lines, though, and get all 
into it with the curves here. So what we're wanting to do is kind of come up this way. We'll go ahead and deal with, let's see, we want to maintain at least a speed of 70 is what I'm going to go for. Don't have anything going that fast on these lines anyway. Uh, however, we do need to maintain that 60 speed across the test track. All righty. Let's see about crossing this road. Let's just go ahead and do that. Mm, it's still not as flat to the ground as I would like. But flat enough. Now, before we build out more, I want to go ahead and throw down the next station here. And 160. I do want to go with the 240. Hmm. Right? I think I do. I do. I do. And then here we're going to want to go two tracks. So I'm going to have to go upgrade that other one. Already blundered up a little bit. And uh, I would like to get... Let's see how we're looking here. I want to have this go at an angle like this. And then we'll connect this like so. Is it in the area? Yes, it is. On the up and up. This guy. Let's upgrade you. To a two tracker. Nope. To a one tracker. But we need you to be longer. A little bit of a collision because of that guy. Fixed him, applied it, and we are going to connect. Like we do. All right. There we go. A little bit bigger now, a little bit better now. Probably didn't need to go that big to start with, but you know what? Better to go ahead and just do that now. What I'm going to be going in this mission is... Uh, I'm going to say that it's okay to go broke on uh, January 6th. Basically, day one. We're going to jump in here, and we're going to go full crazy here. That's right, I said it. We going full crazy. And we're going to spend every dime we got. And we're going to borrow every dime we can. All right. Uh, that is iron ore complete. Very cool. Now we got to move on and connect it on over to the coal. Bring up our contour lines yet again. 85. Cool with me, folks. It's cool with me. I want to go straight up on this line here. So it's not going up too much. Maintain a nice high speed along the mountain way. No curves, no drop-offs in speed, nothing like that. Oh, that's expensive because of that. There you go, there you go, there you go. All right, now what do we want to do up here? I think I'm going to want to flip it. Flip it. And uh, I'm going to have it continue out to Livingston and Edinburgh because I'm going to want it to go drop off tools. And I'm going to want it to come from over here. So hopefully this is going to be enough. Uh, let's check it. Yes, okay, everything's connected. That'll bring uh, this guy right here, the iron ore down. I thought coal was over here. I'm all mixed up. We got iron ore over here. And uh, the black coal was over on the other side of the river. And this guy's going to be hopping in right here. I can dig it. I can dig it. And uh, we're going to have... Hmm. I'm going to have something go out a little bit this way. That's where the depot is going to go. A little heads up into what I'm thinking there. This is quite the... Quite the incline here. I don't want to get too crazy. Nice and straight away. And a turn going 70. 70 is a good speed. And then we're gonna head along back this way. Ooh, uh, let's see. We shall see. I don't know where we're gonna want to put a uh, place up here yet. But hold on, let's go ahead and get this all sorted out. And uh, my plan is a single depot for all the trains. So let's go ahead. And it's going to be the magical train depot. How about that? And here we go. One, 
Depot to rule them all. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Clean it up a little bit, because we gotta keep it looking all nice. And we're gonna add, we're gonna disguise it. It's gonna hide in the forest. Because, you know, we have these magical mystery trains coming out of here that are like monstrous long. Coming out of this little tiny baby depot. So what this is going to be is the magical train forest, because we got to do little things kind of funny, right? So now we have the magical train forest that will be plopping out trains into our network. Almost looks like a little elephant now. Maybe just me. Okie dokie. Train depot. 8.92 million in the bank. We have iron. We have coal hooked up. We have steel hooked up to tools. But we got to get these tools somewhere, right? Can't just leave the tools here all hanging out to hang. So we're going to go ahead and drop these here. I'm going to go ahead and drop a... Uh, take use of the freight drops. And uh, make sure we're dropping in blue. Dropping in blue. All right. No need for that, Monty. Uh, because blue... Come on, commercial building. Blue is tools. Okay, cool. Just making sure that uh, industrial is not tools. Industrial's machine and commercial's tools. So with that in mind, we need to build a passenger station that's dropping off tools. So I'm pretty sure if I stick passengers, we are going to be able to uh, run this quite nicely. Oh, 240. Wait a minute. No, that's 240. Okay, we're good there. Uh, ooh. Hmm. It's kind of far out. But I don't really want to go blowing up. Like, look at that. That's too much money to simply be blown away. So I'm wondering, what if I do something like... This is not... This is not a good spot. Be like here. And a little something like this. Go as far as we can. Like that. Let's see what we get. Eh, it's okay. We're not getting any of those guys, so these tool demand is not going to be added to the list. But we can only do what we can do, right? Let's get started. This is going to be more about moving people. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. 99. Nah, we got to go over 100. And drop this off in the station. Nice. Getting it all built out. One big mega line is going to go across all the way from coal to Falkirk uh, to the steel mill and machine or tool place or whatever, Livingston. And then we're going to head down to Edinburgh. Hmm. I'm telling you folks, we're going to spend all of our money up front. Uh, I, I want to go with two tracker. And uh, this guy, we might have to blow a little something up. Definitely not blowing up these guys. 6.3 million. Uh, that guy alone, 200 something thousand. So let's go right here. And we're going to go with this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be good. There's the old site. We're getting close to the old bridge. This is where we're going to have to be boating steel at some point over this, uh, this way. So things to keep in mind. But how I'm doing something a little bit different. There is nothing, nothing in this game telling me for this mission. To haul passengers, but I'm gonna, cause I'm a, I'm a rebel when it comes to that. I make my own path. All right, so we've got a long way to go here. Let's just see how far we can get on the cheap without too much crazy terraforming. I can dig it. Green check mark for you. Green check mark for you through the forest. And if I have to, I will be going through and beautifying the lines as well. Let's see, we've made it 8 million left and we have our entire track system built out. Some things I want to add though up front before we forget. So we want to make sure our demand is running before we go broke. 
So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and buy. Uh, let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, okay, Dokley, set line, new line right here. And then right down there. Bada boom. Okay, now this guy is going to be uh, tool trucking. That's it. Just simple, plain and simple. So that will help create, we won't see it yet, but that will create the uh, demand, the potential uh, for tools in Falkirk. Now, it's going to get even more interesting. Let's go ahead and buy trains here. I'm going to go with the Class 5.3 Prussian G3. This is the fastest guy we have available. We can go 40, 45, or 50 kilometers per hour. This guy's got the biggest power. We are going to be getting another 40 kilometer uh, per hour train that has a lot more power, but we're not going to make use of that right up front. Uh, what I want to do is take care of this by him, like we said. And we're going to be filling him up with quite a few uh, Bavarian passenger cars to hold 80 folks. We're going to go with 80 folks here. And then we're going to fill the rest with, with, uh, goods wagons. Up to, how many, how many goods are we holding now? Let's go up to 236, as far as we can. New line, uh, and we're going to go, let's see, uh, one, two, three, and then four. I can dig that all day long. Hmm. Now I'm wondering. Now I'm wondering if we should get a little fancy. Hold on. I know. I know. Let's get a little, just a little fancy. We don't have to get crazy fancy. Nope. Put a little of that there. You'll see why. Put a little of that there. That's going to make it so I can then cleanly delete this without deleting any of those, this, these guys. If I can do that. Now let's see if I can sneaky sneak a little something something here. Ooh, I can dig it. I can dig it. Oh, not a tree. Wanted to round it out a little bit, round it out a little bit. And, uh, well, you know what, speaking of, had a nice little park here by the station. Sorry, machine gun trees. You're at under attack. Okay, cool. We're going to get this going. All cleaned up and nice. And, uh, hmm. We're going to need to add some passenger line, or some, some passenger stuff here. So let's go ahead and add uh, some stops. What I'm wondering is, should we go trams? I mean, go crazy. Go tram crazy. If we go there, then there, there, then there, and then maybe up here, and all the way over here. All right, I can dig that. We're going to go electric. Or tram is what I mean. Tram it up. Tram track it. All the way. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go this way, I guess. So it'll be kind of a down and cut back. I'm going to go ahead and add the, uh, what do you call them? Little uh, a tram depot. Make sure I got the right one here. Flip it around as we usually have to do. And let's see. Buy trams. Just going to buy two. And we're going to set line. Ding dong. There. Nope. Set line. New line. Come on now. There. 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 Uh, sounds about right, and then I did counterclockwise, 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 because these guys are in the new line. 
And it's going to go clockwise that way, that way, that way, that way. Can you dig it? I can dig it. It's going to be good. We're going to go tram B. And the other one, uh, tram A. See, I'm being good about labeling stuff. We're getting that going. We're getting this guy going. This is going to be the uh, tools not so express line because it's passengers so it's not so expressy because it's got to go get tools hmm 3.45 million left i might have overextended just a little bit just a little bit by trains we're gonna go with the hmm we're gonna go with this guy because there's really no, we're going to go with the Borsig. Borsig, uh, open wagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. We need this to be up to 60 at least. Okay. And then can I uh, uh, clone that? Not enough money. So to take out money, I'm going to have to go this route. I'm going to go ahead and get the Prussian. And then we're going to go ahead and get uh, the open wagons until it the says, is slipping through our you fingers. broke, we're going to borrow that it's money. Bankrupt. But and if we're, we're going to buy some more. Our hands and knees, our financiers will grant wagons. Us a bridge loan. Uh, okay. And then stake cars to bring back the steel. Okay. Good uh. gracious. We're spending money like there's no tomorrow. Crazy. Just this once, our financial backers are willing to turn a blind eye and help us out once again. But this is definitely the last time. All right, this one. <sighs> yeah, let's go for it. Wow. Not enough money. Okay, so we are going to borrow that last bit of money. Uh, I want to set this guy to the brand new line. Very simple, right there. To right here okay he is bringing uh iron ore one way and bringing back steel the other way for the tool factory now um where is we don't need that uh this train depot oh did i accidentally yep i did i did uh you my friend you get to go to a new line and you are for uh, this, but actually, hold on, play. And what I need you to do is go to depot. Heading for depot, just turn around, no path. Just go to depot. Uh, because I need to add a few more cars to that guy, that was a mistake. So line two is good. Uh, as soon as that train clears out, on this, we're gonna be good, and uh, we are broke. So I'm. I gotta hope that I have everything that I have. All right, buy trains. Uh, let's buy a few more wagons here, and uh, let's call that good for now. Set line. Uh, line. New line. New line. Uh, from up there to right there. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And for funsies, we're going to go ahead and throw down a signal here. And a signal here. And uh, we have to connect this track. There we go. Whew, almost forgot to connect this track because that's going to let my train actually uh, reach that position a little bit better. Train on the way, train on the way, train on the way. Uh, ooh, let's go ahead and spend a little bit, not a lot. I'm going to lose money, so i got to hit pause. Uh, we need just one, just one of these guys. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to throw one of these guys down here. Of the regular kind. Mm, let's go with stagecoaches. Just three of them. Four of them for funsies. Uh, we're going to set this as a new line from there. 
to there. All right, now we're moving, now we're unpaused, and we are going to look at some of these trains. Let's check out our first one, train number one. The big one, the bad one, going up his hill. This guy is uh, our main express line. Let's go ahead and make him his tools. Let's make him like tools, all silver-like. Silver tools. Very, very nice. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Big load here. And what we're hoping for is that we're going to be not only hauling uh, tools at some point to both Livingston and Edinburgh, but we're also going to be hauling passengers back and forth and hoping to turn this into quite the uh, profit line. I didn't realize this was as steep as it uh, as it is, because this is going to be rough, because uh, this is where it's going to be hauling uh, with a lot more of the... Uh, tools on the back. So I should have probably had a little bit more of an incline here and then down the hill so instead of making this curve and then going right up that hill so heavy. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that, see if uh, that's going to survive. Um, and then since I put these signals in, the whole point for these signals is just to get these trains uh, unleashed. And uh, let's take a look at these trains up close uh, because we didn't go with the Borsigon everybody. Is looking nice. Full load here is going to be doing pretty well. Uh, we have to get uh, some things taken care of as far as like this train for line three, which is uh, the coal train. This one is going to be holding at Falkirk North. It is going to be waiting for a full load. We'll go with that kind of full load. Alrighty. Uh, same thing for train three is going to be waiting for a full load uh, here. However, uh, I don't think I need to say full load. That's going to be an automatic kind of deal. And uh, this guy I'm going to leave alone. No full loads anywhere at the moment. I'm just going to let him ride. But what's great is it looks like we already have our first passenger at the end of the line. So time to... Just play, sit back, enjoy. Uh, nothing to do now. That's what's this. This mission's interesting. It's much more of a spend all your money at the beginning. Hope you did some good planning, and uh, let it ride. Let it ride. We're gonna be going into debt for a little while. We're gonna watch these numbers go into the red uh, as the production kicks into gear, uh, which is why I like to buy all of it because if I built just part of it. Uh, and then I go into debt, then I don't have money to continue expansion, so it's a fine line, is it not? Is it not? I think so. What I am enjoying is that we are going to be having this, like, magical single depot for the entire way of these trains. So now, that guy just passed that signal. There. This train here is going to be moving now that that train has moved on. Be on that signal right there. Who catching my breath? Now, as long as... I check this out. What I'm hoping for is this guy's going to go, and now he's going to wait for the free path. Perfection, perfection, perfection. Where I really should have had this guy chill out is uh, have him wait up here instead of uh, waiting down here. But that's okay. We're going to keep on moving right along here at uh, full speed. Let's check this guy as big as we could have made him. Uh, but what's nice is with the 72, that's going to be big enough. All we needed it was to make sure it's at least 60 units are available. Uh, so that's going to help with train two on the coal train. So let's go ahead and uh, color this guy here. And there we go. Money depleted. That is unfortunate. Our financiers are refusing to put even one more Yep. cliff sides in there to clean up things to do and uh, pretty good still the first year 1880 we have a long time to go um, probably could have built all that while just hitting play okay you guys um, pause you wait no you you bug um Let's see. You. Coltrane. Why do you want to go to number two first? That's that's my only question. 
Um, so how about this? Does that work? Good. Okay, now I'm going to add... See, he's moving now. Now I'm going to add this to station number two. There you go. Go. Get out of my way. So he should cut off here. It's probably because I built this after he had already planned his path. He's gone. He's gone. And they will never, ever be in each other's way again. Sweet. All right. He's off to go pick up uh, some iron ore. And this guy over here is off to go pick up some coal. And there's our autosave. I switched my autosave. It did hit, uh, which is interesting because I think I set it to 30 minutes. Ugh, some ugly hills we have to uh, maintain and uh, work on here. And we're broke. The problem is, is with the terrain tool, I can't do anything because I'm broke. So I can't even go around and manipulate that. I could go place trees. I could do that. Uh, but there's nothing in the books that I can do about uh, terrain. While broke. I want to get rid of these red numbers. You know me. I don't like them. This is looking good here. We have a total of already 65 here. Yes, I... I was kind of torn. I was wondering, do I go more av availability to haul raw goods or final goods? But I think I'm going to fall a little bit behind on uh, steel movement, which is great. So I kind of wanted more steel available to move than uh, iron ore. And hey, worst case, if we ever get out of debt, which boy, we're in some debt, uh, then things will go well. However, check it, check it, check it. Um, magical flip around because you can. Uh, Livingston and Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Uh, 43 people waiting. I can dig that. That's going to finally be some money. I think we're totally in the red now, except for Tram B, which is finally moving things right along. This is what we kind of want to see, right? So I'm going to pause it down a little bit on time while we're up close and personal. Oh, watch yourself. Watch yourself, people. Lady. Wait. Thank you. Uh, this is our little tram train. I would not trust standing up there with all that. I love it. It's just like a little boxed train. Same old time, same old things. Not going electric. Not that kind of time. It is only 1881. This is going all right, 45 and 45. So it seems like this train is going to do all right. Besides his killer hill, man, this killer hill. Give some time to let the people build up, though. That was my thinking. So although slow, it's going to be okay. So full speed ahead. We'll look at it from out here. Get a nice further outlook. Kirk Caldy. Don't think we'll... Oh, you know what? I think we have to kind of get towards them towards the end of the game. Of this mission, not game, as all of Europe. Uh, so we're going to keep an eye on that as well. 1.65 million. Not in the bank. That's how that's going. Uh, but what I would like to look at here is... How are we doing? 53 out of 72. I'm going to go ahead and uh, release him. At 60. And that will get us a gold. 57. 58. 59. Come on now. There it is. And be free with the wind, Mr. Train. Be free. And I'm going to go ahead and now say only going full. So we're going to follow this guy while he goes and gets me a gold medal for hauling 60 loads across the test track. Now there is our class 89 Prussian T3. Probably won't use them for anything. Uh, they are good power machines, but they're just a little slow. Here we go. Cross it. Do we get gold? Boo doo Come on now. Give me some music. No? No? Ah, too soon. Too soon. Uh, we still have to manufacture the 30 steel before it will let us do that. That's okay. Next time. Next time. This is what I'm looking at, just so you guys know. Cross the test bridge with a total load of at least 60 units. 
Um, hopefully, I'm pretty sure that's the test bridge, and I'm pretty sure we just had 60 units. So I'm thinking it's just the fact that we are holding off on uh, this part of the mission here. So this is going to be good. We're going to get our coal in, and we're finally going to be able to start unleashing the steel beast. Or production's going to kind of halt. We don't want none of that. So let's see this guy drop him off. You can see all those goods dropping off here, and you can already see the steel lining on up. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. How much steel do we got? Eight? Nine? And it just keeps on going. Almost wondering if I should have the him kind of hang out here for a while. If only they had the proper figures available. The engineers factored in a maximum wind load of 20 pounds per square foot, although the French assume 40 pounds, and the Americans even assume 50. And American engineers are not exceedingly cautious, as the uh -huh. whole world knows. We had better not trust information from just anyone. We will conduct our own measurements with test runs over the bridge at the west end of the Firth. Ah. Now we can do our testing. One of them is going to be stop a train with a load of 30 units on the test bridge. Uh, that's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and keep this train up as a screen here so we can catch him on the way back. You don't have to have exactly 60. I think having 72 will be okay. And uh, this is going to be good because what this is going to do is create... How are we doing actually on potential? Look at that. Potential on tools 244. I think we're doing all right. That's pretty crazy because we have three cities connected at the moment. And here's what's great. Look, this is going to be our first, our first go here with uh, tools on the line. Tools not express. I'm going to go ahead and have him uh, just flip around and grab the rest of these tools. You're here, buddy. You're here. Trust me. You have that hill to go up. Might as well grab some extra tools. And uh, the passengers are just building up. Anyway, ooh, new compartment car. I could use a faster train, though. I could use a faster train. All right, buddy. Packed up with 72. Uh, we don't need to look at Livingston West anymore, either. We are going to try and see if we can double trouble this guy and get crossing the bridge and stopping him in one. Finger on the stop button. Let's tab it to slow it down. This is our normal speed here. Mm, the OCD in me wants to clean up that little cliffside, but I'm broke. All right, a little bit faster now. A little bit faster now. Test bridge, 60 units, and stop. And Steel go. production is coming along beautifully. And thanks to the extensive data from the test runs, the construction of the bridge can finally begin. Nice. Let's go. All right, testing is complete. We can now deliver uh, steel from the steel mill right here. Uh, up to the construction site on the bridge, which is on the other side of the water here. And we need to deliver a total of 100. We can't do it. We're broke. What's going to happen? I don't know. But there's a question mark, so we're going to click on that. And don't you worry. I do know we're going to be okay. I have a feeling we're going to be okay. Also, tip on this one. Something I always forget to do the, the, when I did my little test run here. And uh, I remember forgetting a long time ago as well. When you stop the train on the test track, don't forget to start them up again. You don't want to do what I do and play like four years and then be like, where's all my, why is everything not where, oh, my coal's on the train or on the bridge. That kind of problem. Anyway, question mark. The owner of the steelworks has come to us with a request. He is right. joint owner of a shipping company, but business is going poorly because of the railroad. Mm -hmm. He has offered to reciprocate if we transport goods by ship. Okay. Ship it. He wants to ship it and ship it hard. So we are going to plan a shipping line from... I don't know. Let's look at our uh, contours here. Ooh. It's quite the hairy coast. It's a little steep incline here, but I think it's better than anywhere else. Uh, I mean, of course, you could train the goods. You could even truck the goods if you wanted. But we're going to get special gold. We want all gold. And that's what this guy is down here, alternative transportation. We're going to have to use boats once we have the money. But uh, we don't. We don't have the money. And it is 1883, 
So we still have plenty of time to get the gold. We just have to finish the bridge before 1902. And just so you know, to complete the bridge, all you have to do is deliver 100 of these uh, steel beams over here. Not tools, but steel. We've got to move. So how's this guy doing? Train numero one is 100% full up on passengers. And uh, hopefully, come the next run, we'll have a lot more tools to be delivering to Edinburgh. So that's going really quite well. Well, that's it. I'm going to have to definitely warp you guys forward because I have nothing even fun to do as far as... Uh, I was thinking, oh, we could beautify and terraform together. However, uh, as you know, we're negative, 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 negative money. But here's the positives, right? Uh, for one, where, where's line two? Where's line two? Nowhere. Okay. Uh, delete that line. Uh, tram A, B, these guys, line four, line one is uh, iron ore and um, steel. And then that's just a little line four. It can be called line four. All right. Yeah. Like I'm saying, we got money. We're slowly flipping uh, green here. Ooh, Coltrane's doing quite nice. Uh, this guy... Oh yeah, look at that. We have 41 steel on the way. And then he's got uh, almost 60 of the iron ore. That iron ore is going to pop up. It was just a little slow on the uptake. Uh, oh, and then I realized these trucks should be Upper Livingston. Uh, full load only. Oops. I knew there was something else that should say... Uh, full load only. Like that guy. Like that guy. You're empty. So turn around. Go grab something. You. Empty. Turn around. And go grab something. But other than that, there is absolutely nothing to manage. So I am going to bring you guys back as soon as I'm in the green. And we are ready to start building out our boat transportation. And hopefully, everything's good. Because there is absolutely not a metal about uh, not borrowing money. So I think we're going to be still solid on solid gold. Uh, earn a million, million by transporting tools. I think we're going to be good with the uh, setup that we have here. Uh, and then hopefully I bring you back before that hits. Because as we are getting out of debt, uh, we might accidentally unlock the key to wealth. The key to wealth. Uh, so you guys stay tuned, hold on, let me warp you all into the future. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, alright, so as updates go, uh, I've done nothing, I actually walked off, got a cup of coffee, came back, and was surprised to see that, um, as thought out, the key to wealth did happen. We missed it, I even missed it, it just, it happened with the lines that we built, obviously, with having our tools connected. Uh, our main train right here pulled off, making the million uh, of transporting the the uh, the tools. So even with all these passengers on the line uh, of this train, we pulled off the the uh, key to wealth. So now that we have some money, it is time to start building again. I want to go ahead and start with our roads. Get back out here. We have to plan. Drive our little dudes out here. And uh, we don't need tracks. We're not tramming it. We're not tramming it. Uh, we're going to start building our boat system. Now, these get a little pricey, but I think we got the money and I think we have the technology on how to do this. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to be just dropping off the steel. And we need the cargo terminal, not passenger terminal. Almost, almost messed that one up. 216 sounds all right. This is a tough... Uh, Tough hill here. I'm hoping not to build a tunnel, but just something, something straight out, I guess. It's a little ugly, a little crazy, but we got to do what we got to do. Smooth it out a little bit and uh, get her connected. It's gonna be quite nice. Oh no, thank you. Don't connect like that, jeepers. Gonna cost me way too much money. Just 
slow it down, straighten it out. You'll be okay. Yay, I can terraform again. All right, that is now connected. We're going to flip on over to the other side. Speed the game up a little bit while we make some money. And we've got to create a... Got to have a little depot for the buses. For the buses. I don't get anything right. For the boats. They start with B's. I was close. And at least I put that in the right direction. I still remember when you needed to connect these to a road. That's how old school I am. Alright, here we go. Full speed ahead. Until we make some money. Where are our trains? Train. Train. And... Money train. Another one's probably just waiting up there. The money train is awaiting. And as far as trains go, I had been watching some of the trains, and as stopped and as moving, the maintenance is the maintenance is the maintenance. It didn't really matter if they were moving or stopped. Uh, the maintenance charge was, was coming off the, just the same. So, uh, still have to do a little bit more testing on that. There were some comments about that last uh, episode, something that, that I definitely wanted to look into more. Uh, we just wanted to see how it was running. All right, so how much is it going to cost us for the boat? Let's see what we have for uh, ship options here. We're going to go with the Wilhelm, if I do remember correctly. Yes, because we got to move steel. That's going to move crude oil and fuel. That's passengers, and that's passengers. What's nice is we're going to be able to move... I love that they added compartments. A uh, total capacity of 50. So that means two boat trips. So as long as we can get two... Ship trips before 1902, we're gonna do okay. We're gonna do okay. Uh, my trains are off to go make some big money right now, is my hope. And then I'm gonna flip this guy around and have him at the ready. 204 looks good to me. Really low on the money. Negative 400k. There's 22k, but I need more than that. And we can't borrow any more money, so we're just kind of at the mercy of our own profits if they do come in. Uh, the final stop of this guy is where the big money is, is in Edinburgh. Oh, uh, oh, 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 well, let's pause right there, because that's a lot of good money. All right, we have 200 and... Two. 202. And a road. Oh, we have just enough money. Yay! Yay! Does this connect? Yes, it does! Buy a ship! Do it now! Alright, uh, buy. Nice. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Set line. New line. You're gonna go from there to here, my friend. And then we need a bus stop right here. Uh, right here is fine. And then we need a cargo stop right here. Almost forgot about the basics. With a... One of these. Buy some road vehicles. And we're going to buy, let's see, two... One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we can. Set line, new line. There to there. Done, done, done. Moving right along, I think. That's going to do it for our boat. Boat ship. Whatever. Whatever. All I know is it's on the up and up and on the out and out and on the on and on and in and in and all that good stuff. Steel's on the way. I see train smoke in the distance. The smoke of progress. Whoa, look at that. No big deal there. Oh, there goes another 30 minutes. Maybe I should set that for every hour do an autosave, because that's just been uh, still awkward timing while I'm recording. Look at it. Ugh. Ugly roads. And I'm broke, so I can't fix it. Oh, okay. On that note, full speed ahead. Let's make sure we are getting... We, yep, 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 we are, we are. Turn around. There's stuff waiting for you. Same for you. Go ahead and turn around. Go ahead. And this guy's the first one with five of five. Look at him holding on to his steel. Shows up in the back of that wagon. Good job, little horses. That's a lot of steel, I gotta say. 
five units. Better not be five tons, because those little leggies on those little horses are just going a little madness. Look at that, they got some little moonwalking skills going on there. Well, now they're just going madness. Okay. 1.37 million in the bank. I can't believe it. First time we've seen that much green this whole mission. So I'm going to go ahead and start building out this track. I'm going to get a little proactive, because I know once we deliver all that steel... We're going to need to start working on this track, so I might as well work on this track now. That's my thinking. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you all folks think about this one? I like it. I like the change of pace. Hey, the Halle Berry train's out. Tram's out. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this. Oh, no, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I forgot. I added double track here. We don't need to do what I'm doing. We can go like this. All the way. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. And done. Nice. All right. So at least the first section here is complete. The bridge, I don't think we have to build the bridge. That's going to auto-build once the boat fills on up and brings on over the steel back this way. And then we're going to have to go this way and uh, connect up uh, Kirkendy. Kirkendy. Uh, one track. And let's... We could do the same thing. We could go a nice little uh, downtown connection here. I like it. Go with the streets. Two buildings destroyed, but that is life. Progress, baby. Progress. All right, straight on out. 120 all the way. Straight on out. There was a little bit of lag. Nope, a little bit of lag. A little bit of lag. There we go. Oh, I hear that performance patch is on the way, too. I'm holding out on my modding series for that one. I think that's going to be pretty epic. Should be. I'm hoping so. Get more play on the uh, large maps and future maps and all that kind of good stuff. Look at that. Just enough money. That is all complete. Uh, one thing we're going to have to do on this train line, though, is double it up. We're going to have to have some switches for uh, the path here. Because we're going to have to run more than one train on this line. Uh, and I am probably going to open up a train depot over here as well. I know I wanted to stick with the one for the entire line. But this is going to be kind of the special golden line, you might call it. We're going to go ahead and add the signals while we're here. Oh, I meant to tell the ship to wait until full. So he did a weird little trip with uh, 23. So that's going to make, uh, make him have to do an additional trip. I wanted him to just do... Two trips, mission complete as far as the bridge. That's okay, gives us more time to work on the important things in life, like sightings here. Okay, and there we go, and signals. Uh, I believe we're going to have to move trains between these two cities of Kirkaldi and uh, Edinburgh, and we're going to have to do like four in a year, or five in a year, or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, there is that. So I'm going to go ahead and have a weird secret forest depot over here. That doesn't connect right. That connects right. There we go. All right, this guy's going to hide out over here. And as soon as the bridge is complete... We are going to build out some trains. It's going to be awesome sauce. Awesome sauce, bro. Awesome sauce. All right, there we go. There we go. It's going to be awesome, everybody. Delete key. And we're going to see how he is doing, Mr. Shippy Ship. 42 of 50. I can kind of dig it. So you add that math up, and then that means after next time on your next stay at the Dunfermline transfer, you are going to uh, wait until... Nope, wrong one. You're going to wait until full. 
And by doing that, you're going to complete my mission for me. And I do appreciate the mission completion. So that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, the thing is, the thing is... We're going to get alternative transportation after the next load. The speed record, though, that's what we're holding out on. Uh, I don't actually want to complete this mission, the final part of the mission, until I can get a train that can go 60 kilometers per hour over this test track. We might have to build a depot for that guy as well, now that I think about it. But not of the car kind, of the train kind, like that. A like a so, a like a said. I don't know if we can pull off getting 60 kilometers in that amount of time, though. I might have to start something like over here in the town. Little, little speed train depot for the future. And uh, I would do something like this. And then I would just tell the train to uh, go up here and do a little test. And uh, just send them right back. Probably something like that. I don't need to even... I, I was thinking about upgrading the train too and doing all that. But eh, what's the point? What's the point? Oh, oh, look at that. You can actually see the bridge building out a little bit here as it builds. I like it. Didn't realize it was completioned like a so. So as we're dropping off more steel, the, the bridge is actually getting built. I like it. I can dig it. Alrighty, let's see, what can we do while we wait for the boat to go down and back? I do want to do a check on this guy. These look like they're easily holding full out passengers each time. Look, he's even holding some passengers that just want to go for the scenic little drive over the hill. You know, some people want to know, how does the steel tool conversion work. So they're doing a little factory tour. These 18 folks here. Maybe they're coming up here to go to work. Wouldn't that be cool? They get out, go to work at the factory. I think that would be cool. Little job transportation of the Monty kind. Ooh, that was it. That was 50. Only 65 right there. So deliver steel, though. What? Hold on. What? That got all confused. How have we delivered only 35 steel? Wait, what? We've delivered 65 goods by ship, but somehow, magically... Oh, 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 oh. 50 plus... Uh, no, something, was, something might be a little weird there. We'll see how this goes. 50 should be 85. So where are me where where are we be missing? Some steel. Some steel got lost along the way. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna watch this guy. Come on in here. And uh let's give him a little warp here. Ooh, he's coming in smooth for the drop off. Just a little little warp there, like a little one month warp. End of July, alternate transportation, still delivering the steel. That was still weird to me, the numbers didn't add up. Should just stop at 85 though, if the math is proper. Weird! Weird! What happened to those mysterious 15 pieces of steel? I'm wondering if they got... No. I was like, did they get eaten up by the town somehow? But that shouldn't have that type of reach. It doesn't have that type of reach at all. Anyway, 1889 October. Is it 1890 that we get the fast train? I don't know. I don't know. So it looks like we have to have one more boatload. We got four million in the bank. Now we just have, uh, now it's just the time crunch. But again, it's only almost, only 1890. We still have 12 years to go to complete uh, the bridge. So that means 12 years for this ship to grab 15 more steel. I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll be fine and dandy. Uh, I am excited about January. Yes, the PLM 20, ooh, 220. 
Alright, let's... Since we have just stupid money... Let's check this guy out then. Let's replace him with that guy. Add. And uh, a bunch of open wagons. Uh, right? Because that's what we need. Okay. And we'll just say on replace now. Go for it, buddy. Go for it. We're going to rock and roll this here. Is the ship on the way? We're gonna watch the upgrade. I think he's gonna upgrade facing this way. And he's gonna go back with some serious speed. We're hoping, can he maintain and pull off with an upgrade? We're gonna follow him and find out. Can you pull off 60 on the bridge? Let's go actually totally full in here, because we're going to actually be able to see the speed. A little bit more of a thrilling action here. Will we hit 60 kmh? We're already at 56, and we have not even hit the turn that's coming on up. If I do remember properly, uh, I do have it set. But remember, this guy's maximum speed is 60, so if anything slows him down, like these little bumps, Worried about him losing it, but he is empty, so it looks like we're going to be able to pull it off. Can we make the turn full speed? Wow. Got some power, my friend. We've got some power. I'm, I'm impressed, Mr. Coltrane. Mr. Upgrade, Mr. 1890. Will we get gold going over the hill in first-person mode? We are on our way. Speed, 60. Doo doo doo. I heard it. There is cross the test bridge with some speed. Nice. And, and, and. Can we build the bridge before 1902? Mr. Ship, do you have an answer to that? I'm just curious, Mr. Shippy Ship. Do you have the answer? You look, you're so close. The workers are like, here it comes. Here it comes, everybody. Fifteen pieces of steel. Look, right there. Isn't that not the fifteen that got lost from earlier? I think it is. It's interesting. There we go, though. There we go. And it does accept the additional. Is finished. Nice. Now we just have to see to it that people trust the construction, despite the disaster on the Tay. The more often the bridge is crossed, the more reliable it will seem. All right, well, let's go ahead and buy um, completed trips. So if we go fast, eesh. I got the money for this guy. How fast is he? Uh, oops. 50, right? 50, like that. And then I'm going to just go clone, clone, clone. And set line, new line, from there to there. Let's see how this goes. We need five completed trips within a year. So there goes one. And the next guy should be able to release. Okay. And then the next guy should be able to go. And go. Oh no, he's going to be able to go after he passes through. So this is going to hopefully keep everyone safe. We shall see. But that's the point now. We just got to see on how these guys go. We're already, look at that. We already pff, let's quit while we're ahead. No, we got to actually finish the mission. But this is an interesting style on this mission. Is you can actually get the solid gold before the missions are complete. Uh, but, of course, for those to register, we do have to actually complete the five trips. But what I'm seeing here is there's no time frame. I don't know. I guess you could probably take until the year 2000. That's the thing that people forget about on these missions, is you can actually go in and continue to play them even after uh, you have finished the mission. So if you really like one of the mission maps uh, and you want to keep playing it in the future, more power to you. Nothing's telling you no. You are just restricted to, like, America or Europe vehicles, I guess. And let's see. Stopped. 
Once this guy passes through, he should be free, which should free up this guy, which should then free up this guy. I'm just trying to follow it and make sure that nobody gets stuck here. All right, go. And go. And then he's going to go. And as soon as this guy passes this stop, I think he's going to go. And then he's going to go. And then they should have a little bit of a clearer path. Because this is going to be the first guy to complete a trip. Ooh. Let's see. And he left who knows when. Probably May time frame. Uh, I might have to add some more onto the line. And I'm, I'm curious, actually. Can I... If I wanted to go crazy, I don't think it lets you build on this at all. Oh, it does. It does. I could double the track for 3.71 million. I could double up the bridge. Hmm. Interesting. Now we have some free flow that everyone's out of the depot. Let's see how it goes. He's just going to keep on rolling. He's going to keep on rolling. As of now, go. Nice. We got a lot of people waiting. And uh, one thing I probably could have done to really help these out, I just didn't have the money, was go for the uh, 60 cam instead of the 50. But I'm thinking we're going to be able to pull it off with the 50. All right. Now I'm wondering is... Does this start based on the number one? As soon as we get a one, does it give us a year? So that's going to be our test because we're going to have one, two, three, four. Now they're all on the move. All right, there's complete trip number one, and it happened on January 1st. So we're going by the calendar year. How perfection is that? Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and add some additional signals to help this out a little bit faster. One there. And one there. One, uh, let's see, one out here. Halfway so these can actually double up trains on the side. That's what I'm going with here. Okay, because he had to stop for a second. Now we're back at zero. So it did go <clears throat> based on when he initially took off. Ooh, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. It's easy to get the solid gold, and then it's... Then I struggle on this last bit. I haven't done any testing here, so I didn't really see what was most efficient, effective, and uh, what's moving around the best here. So, okay, that guy's moving right along. I can dig it. Now, worst case, I'm just going to keep on building up some double track. I mean, I have the money right now, too, so I might as well just start. It's not very expensive. Okay, so we're going to get that guy growing and get this connected. Like, it's going to connect straight like that. So let's go ahead and pause it. And connect that straight like that. Cool. Cool. Fox running again. Signals are in place. Trains are running. Because I might have to make it to where it's just the bridge is the single track bit. Then extend all this huge, huge monster of track out here. But again, look at that. 62k. That's really... Not that much money. We, we have just so many millions in the bank. So we'll there. Let's see there. Let's see there. Let's see there. I'm gonna throw down a quick pause while I bulldoze that. Oh, I just realized what I messed up there. So we're gonna have this connect. Uh, and then I gotta do a little crossover. Or that guy's going to get all screwed up. All right, let's see how much I screwed everything up. Because I think some trains got all wacky doodled. This guy's hopefully going to cross over. Cross over, buddy. Cross over like a champion. Oh, thank you. One of five. 
I think we're going to have to go with the faster train. Faster, faster, faster. But you know what? Almost nothing is going to hold these guys up anymore. This guy's going to hesitate for a second because of this guy. But that's all right. And go. Now, what I'm thinking is let's buy... Uh, one of those, clone them, and set them both to line three. That's right, we're adding two more to the line. So a total of six. Uh, what's that guy doing? Okay, cool. He crossed all the way over. That's what I wanted one of those guys to do in the first place. Three of five trips complete. <coughs> that guy's going to make a fourth. And this guy's going to make the fifth. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Number four. You can do it. Watch him come on in here. It's a nice, busy, busy day. Don't you drop on me, completed trips. Don't you drop on me, four. And, and for the game winner, solid gold, number five. Can he do it? He is solid gold. Let's make him solid gold. He's going to come. Oh, it's zero out of five. <laughs> no, we'll get it next round. One of five complete. You were so close, buddy. If you had the right speed, uh, with the addition of these additional trains, we're going to be just fine. Just fine. Ugh, I can't believe that. One. <laughs> Two. How's everything else doing? Let's see our profit lines here. No, I like... I was... I, I still want this to organize by balance because I know you can over here now, which is just fantastic. And if I click the lines over here, bada boom, bada blam. Coltrane still coming in strong. Tools not so express in number two and then iron or steel. Yep, I the, the things that you would expect. All right, train coming in, train coming in, train coming in. One. Oh, you don't count. I think the other issue was uh, when I added those two trains, it kind of threw off what was going on as completed trips. That one should count. There's number two. Three, four. Ooh, let's see. Man, do I got to extend this out just even more? You guys are killing me. I will buy more trains if I have to. See? This is this is good times right here. With transport fever. Monte Rico crazy times. No, we're going to get by it. We're going to get through it. We are going to keep knocking out these missions one way or another. Slow and steady as I do. What do we have at steel mill? Try to ship more items. Well, buddy, if that was my mission, I'd be with you. But it's not my mission. Oh, I don't like how far away... The two trains are coming on in. That guy's way too far away. It's going to kind of work out like it did last time. And now that I have huge money, like what's going to happen first? Am I going to get lucky and knock off these five? Or am I going to, am I going to complete double troubling the bridge? Because I'm going to do it just for fun. Anyway, because we can, four of five... Looks like, uh, let's see if he can pull it off. Four or five, four or five. Is it Mr. Goldie? No, it's not. Are you the gold train? Do you get the real gold? I think you do. Boom. As of late, the Mission complete. Most popular bridge honk, in the honk, world stretches honk, across the Firth of honk, Forth. Honk. And we built that masterpiece. All right. We did it. You did it. We all did it. Uh, remember, you can continue playing, and we could continue watching the gold goodness of the guy right here. Look at this guy. You did it. Yay, mission complete. And we can play, and he can keep playing, and he's earned his gold paint, unlike the other fake gold guy. Uh, but things are going well today. Mission 2 complete solid gold, as we do. Uh, so, you know, you guys stay tuned. We'll probably hit, be hitting up uh, Mission 3 sometime soon. I'm going to be hopping over to some other games as well. So, more fun on the channel. And uh, thank you all again for helping me hit that subscriber goal of 4,000 in 2017.
going to be an epic 2018. I'm happy with all of you who are here. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Remember, drop some comments below and let me know what more you would like to see uh, on the channel in the future. Good gaming, everybody. Monte Rico Gaming. Choo-choo.